So the student loan scheme is part of the palliatives that the federal government wants to introduce to Nigerians. And that is why Nigerians are so passionate and so interested in this issue. And that is why the 10th House of Representatives formed this ad hoc committee to help the federal government come up with a proper framework and to come up with some amendments to the act so that the implementation can be smooth and Nigerians can believe that truly these student loans acts will be implemented for the benefit of our youths and Nigerian students. The bill has been in assented to for, I think, two months now or thereabouts. The technical committee is still working, which means as it stands, because you've mentioned some issues to be really reworked on, on the bill, which means the program cannot take off until the act is repealed, or it has to be amended. It can't work. So the assent of the president on the bill itself is more or less as if nothing has been done. That is what we believe and like you rightly said, the outcry of students and parents and based on these investors are jacking up their, are coming with requests to increase their salary. But like you've said, you see, when you, you, you justify why schools should increase salaries, I mean school fees, these are federal institutions. Honorable sir. With the meeting as a committee, and we've looked at specific areas that we think should be further refined to be able to answer all the questions that Nigerians needed answered, and most importantly, to make the act very responsive to the need to increase access to higher education, especially for those people that could not afford it. The committee is meeting, we met as a broader committee, the CBN, the Minister of Finance, Education, Budget Office, and our last meeting was on the June, on 13th of July. And what we agreed was for the technical group to keep working. And what they were to start working on is, we've agreed on some basic things that yes, are going to change. But beyond what will change in the act, our focus is how do we get this implementation on. And the technical committee has gone ahead and they've done some work in looking at the most effective way to make sure that these funds reach the people that are intended to reach. This should be a program different from others. It will be nimble. Looking at the demography that we're looking at, that is the student populace, they are tech technology savvy, and that is why we are proposing that this office created by this act will be run on autopilot, technologically driven. You know, application from beginning to disbursement will actually be from the push or button. Nobody is going to be carrying uh, paper around. And what did we identify on our work? Amendment, like I've said already, then the establishment of the Nigerian Education Loan Fund itself, you know, the setting up of the committee itself, as said in the, in the bill. But that is not for the committee to do. It is for uh, the authority to actually appoint persons deemed fit. Then we should